Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. What a beautiful day for the Lord to come again. I indeed greet you this morning um, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank God that I can share the word with you. And I trust that your heart will be blessed this morning from this word. So I want to share with you on the topic of recommended by God. Isn't it a nice feeling when a friend recommends you for a job? You feel real good, right? Well, so it is in the Bible. God has recommended a lot of men. And there are two that's, that stands out to me this morning. One was Job. Remember how God said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? That's big recommendation from God. There was another man that not much people talk about. And we, we read of him in Exodus 31, um, 2, 3, and 4, tells us that when Moses was on Mount, praying and talking to God regarding the, um, the, the commandments. God said to Moses, I have chosen a man called Belsley and I have gifted him with talents to carve and he's going to make the things for the tabernacle. Now that is high recommendation because Belsley was not a man who was born in a specific genealogy with special gifts and talents while he was grown up. We never heard of him. Like how we, we heard about, you know, little Moses and um, Joseph and all of those when they were younger. Belzali was gifted himself from God for this job. And I point him out to you this morning to let you know in um, the science, in science, the scientists will tell you 50% of what makes you up is from your biological parents and 50% is from the environment, which means that your genes that makes you as a person represents your, your, your parents and also what you learn from the environment. So from college or from your training, and that's what make you into, you know, producing um, something, making you into who you are. Well, Belsley was gifted himself by God. We didn't hear about his parents being in a certain position or certain gifts. He was gifted by God. And I'm saying all this to let you know that there are times you will find yourself in position that you're not qualified for. You know that your parents did not have those kind of gifts. And you know that all the learning you learned and all the school that you went to could not qualify you for this position. When you find yourself in positions like those, you know you are recommend, recommended by God himself. When you find yourself in a relationship with a certain spouse that you know, look beyond all of those attractive women and attractive men and, and chose you, you know that you are specifically chosen and recommended by God. So my word to you this morning is, if God recommended you, put you in a certain job, in a certain school, in a certain family, with a certain person, in a relationship. Why would you walk out and disappoint God? Why would you walk away from such blessing? If I recommended you for a job and I highly talk about you and recommend you to work for a friend of mine in a company, a high-end company, and you go there exciting and you, you take on the job. But when pressure come or when disappointment come, within two days you walk off the job. I'm going to be very disappointed because I recommended you. So it is with God. When God puts you in a position, he has recommended you for the job because he knows what you're capable of doing. And when you walk off and leave it because people criticize you, hate you, but bite you, try to do you evil, you disappoint God greatly. So he wants me to let you know this morning, stop walking away and leaving your blessing. If you're in a church and you feel like you're being martyred, don't walk off and leave what God has given you. Don't leave until God say it's time to go. If you're in a job, and they're fighting against you and they're putting the pressure on you. Go down to knee city. Go on prayer and fasting. Do not walk off that job. If you're in school, 
and you're failing and you feel like you cannot make it remember who got you there in the first place remember how you got there do not walk off and leave the blessings that God has blessed you with and the position that he has put you in and the recommendation he had recommended you with if you find yourself in a certain position that you were not qualified for your genealogy didn't put you there. Your biological parents didn't give you with those talents to go there. And all the learning you learn in all the college and all the school could not qualify you to be in that position. Then you know that you've been gifted from on high. You know that you've been recommended by God himself. God said to Moses, I have put special gift in this man to carve the goals and the things for the tabernacle that special recommendation he called him specifically by name there's a lot of you that God has called specifically by name and say I'm sending this person to you and I want you to take care of this person and when you walk away from those blessings you have disappointed God so my encouraging word to you this morning is stop disappointing God stop walking away from the blessing and stop walking away from the recommendation. God bless you and stay recommended from on high.